Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I'll explain few more morphological operations that may easily be implemented on MATLAB. The agenda of this lecture includes introduction to labeling, use of built-in function for implementing opening, region filling and a representative example that we will use, and a few more functions to achieve the desired goal. Before moving on the coding portion of this video lecture, let me give you a brief overview of few functions that I'll implement today in the coding example. So the first one is a function for labeling. Labeling means to identify and place labels on each foreground object present in the image. Over here, we are going to see labeling in binary images. So in binary images, anything having a value of one or white color will be treated as foreground, hence an object. Therefore, all disconnected white regions shall be considered separate objects. We have the liberty for defining connectivity type as either 4 connected or 8 connected. If we have selected connectivity as 4, then this image will have two objects because we will consider two white regions as connected only if they have neighbors through these four pixels if we are standing at this location and through these four pixels if we are standing at this location. On the other hand, if connectivity of 8 is considered, then this image will have one object only because both regions are connected through at least one of these 8 pixels if we are standing over here and similarly if we are standing over here. To perform labeling in MATLAB, we have a built-in function bwlabel which requires a binary image as input and connectivity type. If we don't specify connectivity, then default value of 8 will be used. The output of bwlabel is a label matrix, which will be a matrix of same size as that of the input image but having unique numbers in place of all separate objects. For example, all ones in the place of the first object and all twos in the place of the second object, threes in the place of third object and so on. So for this example image, if we use four connectivity, then the label matrix will have ones in place of the first object and twos in place of second object. However, if we have used 8 connectivity, then the label matrix will have all ones in place of all white region because as per 8 connectivity, we only have one object in this image. Programmatically, label matrix will serve our purpose of labeling, but sometimes we need to visualize all objects present in the image and for that a built-in function of label to RGB will convert label matrix into an RGB image. This RGB image will have different color for every unique label in the label matrix. Therefore, if we have used four connectivity while labeling our example and have two objects in it, then label to RGB function will use two different colors for the two objects present in the image like this. However, if 8 connectivity was used and there is only one region in the image, then this will be the result of label to RGB. Both objects have been colored with the same color because as per 8 connectivity, both regions are connected and hence are one object. The next built-in function is of opening. Opening is nothing but application of morphological erosion followed by morphological dilation. In video lecture about morphological operations, we saw a built-in function named IMOpen that will require a binary image and a structuring element to perform opening. A variant of IMOpen is BWAreaOpen. This function is specifically for binary images and saves us from defining a structuring element. Instead, it directly performs opening on the provided image. 
The effect of opening is that it removes small, noisy or unwanted regions. Therefore, BW area open just asks for the input binary image and the size of the largest region that you require to remove. Then it will automatically remove all elements smaller than that size. For example, let's suppose we want to remove all alphabets having area of less than 50 from this image. Then application of BW area can easily achieve this. Conversely, if we want to retain all alphabets having area less than 50, then we can subtract the opened image from the original image and we will be left with all alphabets having area less than 50. The last built-in function that we are going to see today is of region filling. A foreground region in binary image may contain discontinuities called holes. A hole is a region that belongs to the background but is surrounded by the foreground. This typically happens when we perform thresholding. For example, if we threshold a built-in image coins.png at 1 30th gray level, we will get this output. As you can see, thresholding has not produced a perfect segmentation and this is not something to be surprised because we seldom get perfect segmentation through simple thresholding. In the segmented image, the background areas surrounded by the foreground areas are called holes. For example, these ones. Region filling function can come in handy over here. We can either use it interactively or automatically. In both cases, we can remove the holes present in the segmented image easily and get this result. Therefore, region filling function may provide us with perfect segmentation by removing errors in the thresholded image. Now we shall try to implement this example on MATLAB. But before moving on to coding, let me explain the requirements. We want to count and display the number of coins present in the built-in image named 8.tiff automatically. To achieve this, we first need to generate perfect segmentation of the image and then label the image for counting the number of objects present in it. So let's move towards coding and see how we can do this. So the first thing I need over here is the image and I load the image using this command. This is a grayscale image. Let us display this image to see what this image is. So this is the image which we have loaded. It contains a light background with dark foreground and has four coins in it. We need to automatically extract the number of coins and the location where they are present. So the first thing we need is we need to threshold this image so that we can remove majority of the background. There are various methods to figure out the threshold level. You can use histograms or you can use built-in function of gray thresh or you can hit and trial to see that at what gray level you get the best output. I'm going to binarize this image using a level of 140. Additionally, I know that the coins are quite darker than the background. So the coins are going to appear black and the background is going to appear white. But to follow the convention, I'm going to flip this image so that I get a light foreground that is light coins and dark background. So I'm going to invert this image using not operator. Now let us see what we have generated over here. So we have this binary image. Thresholding at a level of 140 has produced reasonable segmentation. But still you can see that there are errors. For example, there are holes present in all of these coins and there are also some stray foreground pixels. If we directly use labeling on it, then the label function is going to label these regions as separate foreground objects because these regions are not connected to any foreground region. Especially 
if I can zoom over here, then these two regions, this one and this one, they would be used as or they would be labeled as different regions, whereas this pixel and this pixel would be labeled as different region if we are using four connectivity and if we are using eight connectivity then these two regions will be included with this larger region so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all the holes present in the image and i can remove the holes by using region filling and the built-in function for region filling is i am fill i need to provide it with the binary image that contains the holes and to automatically remove all the holes i can use this input argument if i don't provide this input argument this function will open this binary image and ask me to interactively click on the locations where i think that there are holes and it will keep on removing those holes but as i need this function to automatically remove the holes then i'll use this second argument so that it will automatically remove all the holes present in all the foreground objects. Let us see what we have got over here. So we have this thing. Now we have removed all the holes present in the objects. The problem still remains of these isolated pixels which are present over here. The next task is to remove these things. We know that the area of these isolated pixels are not more than 5 or 4 pixels. So we can use area opening command to remove these pixels very easily. So let's remove these stray pixels by using area opening. For area opening, I am going to use this function bw area open that requires the image and the area of the regions which I want to remove. All regions less than that area will be removed. Let's say I am going to choose a value of 10. So all regions having area less than 10 will be removed. So now let's see what we have got over here. We have got this thing. You can see that we have removed the stray pixels present over here, but still there is one problem. That is, if we focus on this region, then these two pixels, this one and this region, they will be counted as separate objects if we are using four connectivity later on in the labeling process. So we need to remove these as well. So that no matter what kind of connectivity we are using in labeling process, these two pixels or pixels or regions like these will not affect our output. So using the BW area open command by specifying the connectivity as 4 we can remove this thing as well. So let me just point out over here that we are going to use a connectivity of 4. Now let's see what we have done. You can see over here that stray pixels which are 4 connected to the original object are also removed. Now let's move on to labeling because we have produced perfect thresholding of the image. Now the task remains is that of labeling. So I'm going to label the image using BW label command and using four connectivity. This will generate a label matrix. A label matrix will have all ones in place of the first object, all twos in place of the second coin, all threes in place of the third coin and all fours in place of the fourth coin. So just knowing the maximum value of the label matrix, we can figure out that how many objects or how many coins are present in the image. Additionally, let us visualize the labeled object through RGB colors, that is, place a different color on each object. We can achieve this thing by using label to RGB function. It requires label matrix as input. Now I'm going to add certain plotting commands that will generate or that will display all the images in one window. 
so that we can analyze each output concurrently. Now if we run this function, we will get this output. Over here you can see that this is the original image and this one was the binary image that we achieved. Then we performed region filling to remove all the holes present in the image and later on we opened the image to remove all the stray pixels that may have been counted as a separate object. At the end we labeled the image and automatically extracted the number of coins present over here. You can see over here that the number of coins are four which have been extracted automatically and each coin has been displayed using a different color. Label to RGB command does this. It gives white color to the background and different colors to all the foreground objects so that we can visualize all the foreground objects separately and clearly. Now let us try to run this function or to run this code for some other image. For example, I am going to use coins.png and see that whether we can achieve this kind of output with this thing or not. I know that for coins.png a reasonable thresholding level is 130 so I am going to change this to 130 and I also know that in this image the background is darker and coins are lighter so I don't need this inversion over here so I'm going to remove this inversion over here rest of the things I guess are fine so now let's run and see whether the same algorithm which we have programmed can figure out the coins present in another image coins.png over here we can see that the original image was this one and it had a light foreground and dark background. The binarized output would be this one and we used region filling to remove all the holes. I guess there are no stray white pixels present over here but if there were opening would have removed it. So at the end this algorithm is counting the number of coins present in this image as 10 and I guess there are 10 coins present in the image you can easily count them. As the last output the RGB image is displayed where all the coins are labeled or are displayed using a different color and additionally it has automatically counted that how many coins are present in the image. So this was everything for this lab and I hope that you can now easily use region filling, area opening and labeling function present in the image processing toolbox of MATLAB.